Hey everybody, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches Budget Edition. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an entire week of school lunch ideas that are just around $1 per lunch. If this is your first time here and you find this video helpful, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button because I share lots of lunch ideas on this channel every single week. Now before I get started on these cheap lunch ideas, I wanted to share with you a few tips that I use when I'm trying to save money on lunches. Number one, I shop at Walmart. And hashtag not sponsored, but I do shop at Walmart because it has the best prices in my area. Now true, you can sometimes find better deals at places like Aldi, but unfortunately not everybody has an Aldi, but almost everybody has a Walmart in their town. So I'm basing my prices on Walmart prices, which might be a little bit different in your area of the country. Now secondly, I save money on these lunches by buying the store brand as much as I can instead of paying extra for the name brand products. So many times I find the store brand to be just as good as the name brand with a few exceptions of course. And then lastly, I save money by paying attention to the price per ounce whenever I'm deciding what to buy. For instance, take these two boxes of cereal. Now up front, the larger box of cereal is going to cost you more money than the smaller box. But in the long run, you can actually save money by buying the bigger box because the price per ounce on the bigger box is going to be lower than the price per ounce on the smaller box. So if you have it in the budget, to buy in bulk, you can definitely save money that way. Now you guys, since this video is all about budget-friendly lunches, I thought I would also share some more budget-friendly lunch boxes as well. Of course, you guys know I love my cute and colorful bentos. They do last a very long time, but they can be pricey, especially if you're buying them for more than one kiddo. So if you're looking for a more budget-friendly alternative, I would recommend giving these Ziploc lunch boxes a try. I can usually find these at Target for around $2 each. And no, they're not going to last forever, but they're definitely more reusable than a regular Ziploc bag would be. Oh yes, and to make mine last even longer, I usually try to wash them by hand. Now you guys, if you would like to make these budget lunches yourself, I will have a printable list of everything that I bought with their prices down in the description box below. Okay guys, so I'm going to kick things off with a dollar lunch idea that I'm going to be making with my son Jackson in mind. For his lunch, I knew I wanted to make some kind of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich since those are very budget friendly, but I wanted to find a way to jazz it up a bit. So what I've decided to do is use a hot dog bun instead of a regular bread. Now I know I talked about buying a lot of generic and store brand items, but when it comes to my hot dog buns, I like to pay a little bit more to get a better quality. I really like these ones because they don't fall apart as easily. And because these are split across the top, I can easily go ahead and fill this up with peanut butter. I am using the Great Value value peanut butter because it is a lot cheaper than the name brand. And then since Jackson loves bananas, I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and stick an entire banana right inside of the hot dog bun, almost like you would with a hot dog. And since this is peanut butter and jelly inspired, I'm also going to squirt just a little bit of jelly across the top. And I like that it kind of looks like ketchup on a hot dog. I think this is a super fun alternative to a regular PB&J. Not only is this budget friendly, it's also on the healthier side and I think it's gonna be super filling. Next, I'm going to add plenty of veggies in here. First, I'm adding some celery. And to go along with those, I'm also adding some baby carrots. Then over in the corner section, 
I've decided to add some cottage cheese. Not only is cottage cheese super budget friendly, but it's also loaded with protein and my kids usually love it especially if I add a little bit of salt and pepper on the top. And then last but not least, I'm going to fill up this last section with a good amount of popcorn. Popcorn is such an affordable snack. In fact, you make air popped popcorn. It can literally cost you like three cents for an entire four cups of popcorn. And you guys, the grand total for this lunch came to $1.01. Next up, I'm going to be making a budget-friendly lunch with my son Griffin in mind. Now, Griffin is only four years old, so he doesn't need quite as much food in his lunch. And for his lunch, I decided to go with kind of a combination between a Lunchable and a pizza Lunchable. And you guys, I actually have an entire video where I show you how to make lots of different DIY Lunchable kits yourself. You really can save so much money making your own versus buying them at the store. So definitely check out that video if you're looking for more budget-friendly lunch ideas. So for this pizza-inspired lunch, I'm going to start by adding some crackers. That's right, we're using crackers here instead of pizza crust. These are kind of like club crackers, although they are the store brand version. Next, I want to add the sauce and the cheese for these DIY pizza crackers. And to keep them separated within the lunchbox, I'm going to be using these separate containers that I found at the Dollar Tree. These also come with lids, so if I was actually packing this lunch to go to school, I would definitely add the lids on here so that the sauce and the cheese wouldn't fall out everywhere. And now the last part of our DIY pizza crackers is going to be the pepperoni. Now I really like the mini pepperoni for this. I think they fit so much better on top of the cracker. I'm also gonna throw in just one little mandarin orange and to make it easier for Griffin I already went ahead and peeled this and to make it extra cute I'm also going to add in a few little googly eye picks now to round out this lunch I'm also going to be adding in some cucumber slices normally I like to get the hothouse cucumbers but if you're trying to stay on budget the regular cucumbers are actually a lot less expensive because the skin on these cucumbers can be kind of tough I am going to go ahead and remove about 50% of the cucumber skin I just carefully use a paring knife to do this then after I slice the cucumber I can actually make this really cool checkerboard design if I just twist each piece the opposite direction like this. Now you guys, the total for this lunch came to just barely over $1. But I do have to say, if I was making this lunch for one of my older kids, I would probably have to add a few extra things into the lunch to make it more substantial. Next, I'm going to be making a lunch for my daughter, Mackenzie. And for her lunch, I'm going with a breakfast for lunch theme. I think that having breakfast foods for lunch can be super budget friendly, and it's something that we do around here quite often. But I usually end up making things like pancakes and waffles. I don't usually make French toast, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and make today. With French toast, you only need a few ingredients, and it's also a really good way to use up some bread that's not super fresh. Now, I did the math on all of these lunches that I'm sharing with you today, and I priced out everything. I was super shocked to find out that with the sandwich bread, the egg, the milk, the tiny bit of cinnamon, and the syrup, this much 
French toast only costs about 25 cents. So yeah, definitely budget friendly, which is really good because that gives me more money for the rest of this lunch. So as you guys can see, I did go ahead and cut the French toast into French toast sticks. I think they fit so much better in the lunchbox this way. And since I put the syrup on the side, Mackenzie will be able to just dip her French toast sticks right in there. Now to go along with this French toast, I'm also going to add in a few sliced strawberries. Fresh fruit can be kind of pricey, so I'm not adding very much in here at all. Next, over in this other section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and add some vanilla Greek yogurt. Now you guys, this Greek yogurt is nothing fancy. It's just the cheapest kind you can get, but I really think that the yogurt goes super well with our breakfast theme. And since it's Greek yogurt, it's also making sure that there's some protein in this lunch. And now finally, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this lunch by adding some celery, but to half of the pieces, I'm going to make those into ants on a log. Now hopefully Mackenzie doesn't think she's too old for these. It's been quite a while since I've made them. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of peanut butter into the center. This is just a small amount of peanut butter so it's not adding a lot of extra cost. And then of course I'm going to top them with just a couple of raisins which are another really budget friendly fruit option. And now you guys, the grand total for this lunch comes to just $1.04. Okay guys, now that brings me to a lunch for my daughter, Lily. She tends to be one of my pickier eaters, but I'm pretty sure she's going to enjoy this budget-friendly lunch, and it's going to be based on some pasta. That's right, I'm making a good old pasta with marinara sauce, definitely a very popular budget-friendly meal. And you guys, if this is the type of pasta dish that you could eat hot or cold, it would be good either way. For Lily's fruit, I'm gonna be adding in some grapes, and for her veggie, I'm going to add in the rest of the cucumber that I cut up for Griffin's lunch. To go along with Lily's lunch, I'm also going to give her some mozzarella cheese. Now, I was going to get string cheese and just cut that up, but I actually found that by buying this block of mozzarella cheese and cutting it myself, it was actually a little bit cheaper. And then you guys, last but not least, the thing I know Lily is going to be the most excited to see. That's right, I finally found some of the special edition Lady Gaga Oreos. Now these cost the same as regular Oreos. You definitely could save some money by just getting the generic Oreos, but since these are fun and cute and pink, I definitely wanted to get them for Lily's lunch. She's not a huge fan of Lady Gaga, but she does love pink and she does love Oreos. The total for this lunch comes to $1.07, but I still think that's pretty good. Next up, I'm going to be making a lunch that all of my kids would enjoy. In fact, I would enjoy this lunch as well. And that's because the main course for this lunch is a good old classic bean and cheese burrito. Of course, things like beans and rice are definitely budget friendly food options. And you could save even more by cooking the beans yourself. To make this easy though, I'm just using a can of refried beans. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but, and to season this up, I did go ahead and add about half a packet of taco seasoning. I definitely don't want my burrito filling to be too spicy or too salty for the kids, so that's why I just added half a pack. To these beans, I'm also gonna be adding in a good amount of cheese. Now you guys, this filling is actually going to make several burritos because when I make these burritos, I like to make a big batch of them because they freeze really well. Now I just have to mix all of this together. Then I'm going to try my best to divide this filling amongst my tortillas.
Now to make these burritos even better, I do like to go ahead and grill them just a little bit in my pan. So this kind of crisps up the outside and it also helps to heat their burrito all the way through. Next, I'm going to be adding in just a few grapes and about half of a small apple. And you guys, to keep this apple from turning brown, I do like to dip it in a little bit of lemon juice mixed with water. And then over here in this last section, I'm just going to add in some carrot sticks. Believe it or not, for all of this food, the grand total came to just $1.03. Definitely one of my favorite lunches out of the entire bunch. But you guys, I would love to know in the comments down below what your favorite lunch idea was today. And if you have any budget-friendly lunch ideas you'd like to share with me, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.